Assalamu alaikum brother and sisters and friends I hope everyone is fine with the blessing of almighty Allah so without any delay let's start today's video Assalamu alaikum my brothers and sisters to control your anger and temper an effort is required it's not just going to come like that you need to make an effort so firstly you need to know that when you're getting angry, you seek the protection in Allah from shaitan, the accursed, because anger is from the devil. Yes. I seek refuge in Allah from shaitan, the accursed. That is a sunnah dua, which means it's a supplication taught by the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And then it is actually mentioned in the Quran as well. And thereafter, you may... Drink some water. If you're standing, you sit down, you drink some water. If you're sitting, you may lie down. But my brothers and sisters, an effort is required. Become conscious of your temper. That's what it is. Become conscious of your temper and swallow it. Gulp it. Mm. Take it in. Smile. Break into a smile. But you have to be very powerful to do that. You have to be extremely strong, just like when you want to build your muscles, you lift weights and you start off with two and then four and then 10 and then 20 and then 50 and so on. And you and you practice every day in the same way, yeah. your temper, you need to practice every day. Whenever you're getting a little bit angry, quickly change your tune and your tone, mm. change your attitude, break into a smile, just say a good word, turn away. Go away. Don't involve in that speech that's making you angry. When someone misbehaves on the road, do not show that road rage from you. Don't let it come from you. And if someone else has displayed their rage on that road, remember, calm down, smile at them or ignore them. But if without an effort, you're not going to be able to help yourself. Similarly, keep on asking Allah Almighty to help you extinguish your anger. Keep on asking Allah Almighty to help you extinguish your yeah. anger. It's a very, very important prayer and supplication. So you ask Allah, you sought the protection in Allah from shaitan. You sat down if you were sitting, you drank water, for example. You walked away if you were getting upset or you just said a good word or you broke into a yeah. smile. You become stronger and then you start ignoring things and slowly but surely over a period of a few weeks to a few months, you will be able to calm yeah. down, especially with your children and your family members. Remember to calm down, especially with those who work for you, under you. Remember to calm down because the Prophet wasallam clearly told one of his companions, if you think you can vent your frustrations yeah. on this person, remember Allah has greater hold over you than you have over this person, which means whatever you've done, Allah will probably do something to you that would be equally damaging or even more if you don't turn to Allah or seek forgiveness from the person you have wronged. Yeah. Because when you're angry, you start saying things. Keep quiet. You, you, you know, people divorce their spouses. People swear. They scream. They shout. Yeah. They actually say things they regret later. Too late. Too late. It's shattered. The glass is shattered. Now what? So therefore, learn to control your temper. Become conscious of it and be powerful enough mm. to actually just gulp it and extinguish it. That's why the hadith of the Prophet wasallam he says, a person who has extinguished their anger, knowing that they could have vented it on the day of judgment, they are called and given a yeah. special prize. May Allah Almighty grant us ease. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brother and sisters, I hope you have watched today's video and I hope you liked the video of Mufti Men because Mufti Men always speak according to Quran and Hadith and I hope you have watched his video till end. So in today's video, we have watched a video of Mufti Men in which Mufti Man told us about the anger and he told us that how we can control our anger. Anger is one of the evil worship of Shaitan which leads to so many evil and tragedies of which only Allah knows their full extent. For this reason, Islam has a great deal to say about this bad practice. And the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam described thirst for this disease 
and ways to limit its effect among which Mufti Meng told us already in this video and Suleiman ibn Sirt said that I was sitting with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu and two men were slandering one another. One of them was red in the face and the veins on his neck were standing out. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu said, I know a word if he were to say it, but he feels would go away. If he said, I seek refuge with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the shaitan, what he feels, his anger would go away. So this is what Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us about the anger and we should be controlling our anger whenever we became anger with anyone. So guys, what do you think? What Mufti Man told us about the anger, it's true or not? Please let us know by giving your comments below. And if you are like the video of Mufti Men, then it's a request to you guys. Please share this video with your friends and family members so they can get benefit from it. Another request, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. So whenever a new video will be published, you will get its notification first. See you guys in next video till then Allah Hafiz.